What's up? I'm Vin, and today I want to talk about learning from failure in math. So I want you to pretend that you have a math test coming up and you're spending countless, countless hours studying for this thing. You get to the test, you take the test, and you get the test back and you just absolutely fail this thing. Or maybe you were hoping for a 90 to 100 and you got something way less than what you were expecting. Now, I've had plenty of students say things like, if I don't do well on this test, then all the hours that I put in would just be a complete waste of time. But what you need to learn from an experience like this is that failure is part of the game. If you wanna get better at anything, setbacks are just gonna be a part of anything you wanna be good at. Now, I know you've probably heard this growing up that if you tried really hard at something, you can achieve it. And yes, that's true, but sometimes you try really hard at something and you still fall short of your goal. And learning how to deal with that is probably one of the most valuable things that you could learn in life. So what you wanna do when you fail a math test is for one, reflect. You wanna think about why did you fail? Because if you put no effort into the test, then yeah, failing it is not a big surprise. But maybe you put in a ton of effort and you failed, and it could be that you just had a really bad day, because everyone just will have a bad day now and then, and their performance just drops significantly. Or in another situation, maybe you were just not prepared for the test, even though you spent a lot of time getting ready for the test. So what you wanna do is you wanna think about what did you get wrong, and you wanna get right back to the grind because if you want to get better at math it's all about consistent practice it's not about practicing the day before the test it's about practicing day in and day out as soon as you learn how to grind you will get better at math or just about anything because once again consistent work ethic is what's going to pay dividends in the long run so next up here you should be focusing on your progress so think about how were you on the first day of school for that school year and think about how you were at this test late in the year you're probably better at math than when you started on the first day of school that school year, so you are getting better. But once again, if you maintain that consistent practice, that consistent grind, you are going to slowly get better and better at math. Now, another thing you could do after you fail a math test is start to ask for more help during class. Are you asking your teacher for help if you don't know what's going on? Because there are a lot of students who just suffer in silence because they don't want to show their classmates that they have no clue what's going on. But I could promise you, you asking a question is you being the hero because there's at least 10 other kids in that class that probably have that same question. And what happens as you have more of your questions answered in class, this is going to lessen the burden for you at home. You're not going to have to work as hard at home because you're getting that clarification in real time during class. And finally, after a failing test grade, do your best to stay positive. This is just a small snapshot of your life. I could promise you that when you get a job and you're older, when you apply for that nine to five job, your future employer is gonna be more interested in what you do over the course of a 40 hour work week. How you are for just a single moment in time doesn't matter in the big picture. What you wanna be able to do is go through the daily grind day in and day out working hard. Because once again, consistency is what's gonna get you better at something. It's gonna be slow progress, but you will keep getting better at math as long as you're practicing consistently.